Hey, welcome back into today's video. We're going to be talking about a YouTuber named Foodie Beauty, aka Chantel Marie, and a very, very bad person named Nadar Elshami. Now, Chantel helped to platform Nadar, who went on to be alleged of SA of one of her own viewers. This guy is currently under investigation in Montreal, Canada, and there is video evidence of him putting his hands on women. This is a terrible person, and we need to talk about him in today's episode of Exploring YouTubers. If you're unfamiliar, Chantel is a YouTuber named Foodie Beauty, who has a channel with over 90,000 subscribers, where she does long-winded live streams, m uploads multiple of them a day, very long ones, and they usually involve some kind of food while she overshares about her life drama. The main focus of today's video is going to be Nadar, but we do need to talk about some context to do with Chantel and her role in this situation. Uh, Nadar is a previous boyfriend of Chantel. One of the first things you need to know is there's a massive community that surrounds Chantel called Girl World, and they are very invested. There's an unofficial website, as well as a Twitter. Now, this whole community is dedicated to Foodie Beauty and another YouTube channel called Amberlynn Reed, where Chantel is the reigning queen. And Chantel's uh, niche community within Girl World is called the Foodie Verse. This is an example of when the creator is not the entertainer, but the entertainment. Chantel's relationships have been a fascinating topic for Girl World just because of the sheer toxicness of it all. Things like cheating on one of her first long-term boyfriends who goes by Pete's online with the man that she would leave him for called BB. And even though she cheated, Pete's remained friends with Chantel, which caused for some awkward situations like, I was going to ask you if you know how bad it hurts to find out for sure that you've been cheated on. And you could say that, yes, you don't. Because <laughs> I cheated on you. Did it hurt you? Mm -hmm. Are you really bad? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think she is. To me, this looks like a vicious cycle for Chantel, where she's either the cause of her own pain or she's causing pain to other people in her life, just with different faces. Same vicious cycle, different people. This is an example of emotional masochism. Masochist. Mas Damn, I'm gonna have to like figure out how to pronounce that. Masochism. This is an example of emotional masochism, which is participating in events, situations, and relationships that repeatedly damage your self-esteem. It's negative self-talk, it's needing approval from others, but never getting it. Which I feel like is Chantel in a nutshell, but you let me know in the comment section below. Fast forward a few cycles later and enter Nadar Elshami, who, well, the red flags were there from the very start, and I'm going to explain to you how he came into the picture. So in the meantime, I'm talking to this other guy, this other guy and he's not really my type but the more i talk to him and the more i see of him if you catch my drift the more hot he becomes to me egyptian guy that i'm talking to now um he's from egypt or no yeah he's from egypt alexandria egypt and he's a chef so he's always pushing me to come over and eat um he loves bb that's not the tea the tea is hot it's it's it, we need to let the tea cool off okay so the egyptian guy is very is it like, I don't know if it's like all Egyptian men, but he's very, um, pushy, like, like, bossy. Like, tells me what to do all the time. Like, not tells me what to do, but like, yeah, he tells me what, like, I should, like, <clears throat> oh, he's very, um, he's looking for a relationship. He's like, you're going to come here and you're not going to want to leave for like a week. And I was just like, he, <laughs> he asked me to move in with him. He's like, I have a big apartment. I'm just like, he's like, you're exactly what I'm looking for. Everything about you. And I'm just like, you don't even know me. Like, if you think I'm the kind of woman that you can boss around, I'm going to piss you off a lot. Those are weird signs. I know, I know it's it's already so toxic. But, like, a part of me can't help it because he's so into me. Like, it's flattering. I like the bossiness a little bit. I don't know. It's like, okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> as long as it's not a It's just, um, when I say stuff like that, it's like, wow, he's so angry and weird right from the get-go. Why would I hang out with him? So this dude was not hiding who he was from the start, like the red flags were there, but she wasn't seeing it. And to drive the point even further about the cycles, well, when he would do things to harm her, like get her on uh, substances that are not the most legal, uh, she would uh, completely miss it. So it was like two nights, like not every single night that I was with him, we did hard stuff. It was like the one night and then like another night was like the bad, bad, bad night where we just did like everything. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not funny, but it just made me like really sick. Like I was sick like for like two days, like in bed, like to message from you know who. And he's like, I finished work at four today. 
can you come over? And I was like, I'm really sick. So no, well, come over, I'll take care of you. <laughs> I'm like, aw, that's so sweet. So because her personality is so invested in this type of behavior, she's completely missing the fact that he's putting her in harm's way. And on top of that, she can be seen to also want to uh, come back and harm him as well. Thus the uh, cycle. I'm there today, right? All right, if I, if I don't hear from him in like an hour, I'm going to take edibles. Because if he says to bring his stuff, because he needs his clothes. I deleted all, I'm stupid. I deleted my apps. I just assumed he would just fall in love with me and just be like, oh yeah, no other girl matters, you know? Not a, like hit but just manipulate your feelings. Like why, why lie about who you are? Like why lie that you're an honest person? And that you're a good person. I believed him. You know what, and I, you know what, I secretly I knew and I'm just like, whatever, I don't care. I just wanna go and party. So again, it's not sweet that he wants to take care of you when he's the reason that you're unwell. He's a pain source for your cycle and that's probably because he's a narcissistic sociopath. I'm gonna give you some examples, like him admitting that he uh, deals hard sociopaths. He showed Bayman sent it to you 500. He showed Bayman 500? You want me to say for what? What the is this nerve? Not only does he hold a cigarette like that, but he also brags about stabbing people. Yeah, I stabbed someone because I have balls. And I pay for it. I went to jail. Actually two, not one. That's true. You want to see the truth? Actually, I said it before. There's also countless videos of him disrespecting women online. Um, but I want to show you some of the ways that he talked to Chantel. I'm not gaining weight, so, but I feel it right now. You change the type of food you eat. You keep stuffing yourself with oil. Well, yeah, we're having fried potato no, chips later. No, we eat healthy. Oh, yeah. If you just move your ass a bit, you lose weight. I don't want to stop going live. I like hanging out with you guys. Just... No, he didn't say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you said move your ass to lose weight. Did you say that? I didn't hear that. <laughs> I think you fat shame me and you're mean. <laughs> you ask to lose weight. I tell you, changing the food. Yeah. Be more healthy for your body, but doesn't make you lose weight. You lose weight when you move your ass. Yeah. No, but you're attra like at my size. You're attracted to me as I am now, right? That's what they they think. You're not attracted to me. You see? <laughs> <laughs> well, he won't. Why do you have this thing? Normally. This for what? Can you massage it, please? I see it only in the camel. <sighs> it's called a fat hump. Hump? Itch my back down more a little. No, that's danger here. Down a little bit more. Until here, and that's it, like my limit. Oh, thank you. What is that? <laughs> Let the farts begin. No, hey, please. Please. No, the chicken. Since you feel anything not normal, Uber right away. <laughs> I cannot. Yeah. This has to be like that. Especially when I have this guy here. <laughs> this guy? <laughs> this is yeah, his. Yeah, it's just. Uh... Chantal the chauffeur. Excuse me. Is that yours? Sandra, eight dollars. Kiss Chantal, please. <laughs> I need eighty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Sandra, fifteen. Kiss her now. Sandra. <laughs> now you have to do it. That Nader, teach Chantal how to play soccer. Yeah, we need somebody to play with this soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm a soccer ball? What do you think? No, it's more than that. <laughs> What's the environment? One in, one, one.
Yeah, Jillian, I, I hate cardio. Is like she ever do. Hmm? What's his cardio? I never see you did. I walked around, remember? Oh my goodness. So you can already see that the dude is aggressive, uh, overly aggressive, but she actually admits that he put hands on her. And after all this, after all he's made me feel, he sends me a picture on, on Messenger of it's an obese dog with my face on it. After you, you scream and grab, you scream in my face and grab my face. He like really, really scared me. <laughs> he was screaming in my face, running around the room. Cigarette came really close to me again when he was screaming at me like last time. And then he grabbed my face and no, I'm and that's, that's bullshit. So obviously, and yes, there was a lot of red flags from the start. And to this, I want to say that if somebody shows you who they are, believe them the first time. It'll save you a lot of pain. And if you're the type of person who feels like they want that pain, then there's therapy. Now, one of the things I want to get through in this video is that Chantel is directly responsible for platforming Nadar, meaning that she knew how he was, what he was capable of, and gave him access to her viewer base. I mean, she even made his account. As was revealed in a video that Rebzion posted about this situation, I'm going to put that in the description below if you guys want to check that out. You need to keep that same energy all the way off with it and accuse YouTube of giving him a platform. Because you see, Repsion, as smart as you are, you fail to realize that creating a YouTube channel is as easy for anybody in any language as a click of a button. And then any idiot knows what generalized form comes after that. Every single thing I literally made the account. So you just admitted that you were the idiot who created his YouTube channel. He gave you the idea, you took all the other proper steps to do it. Not only did she make his account, but she edited his videos. Go there for a few hours out of the day to film him his video eat. No, I'm not editing for him anymore. I'm not doing anything for him anymore at all. I did enough. Makes his own money now. Like, you don't need me anymore, so. She quite literally did everything for him. She made his account, showed him how to do YouTube, had him on her channel. He was in her his channel. Uh, he, I mean, she was doing everything for him. She even paid for his internet and a phone. Like, I watch, I watch your live stream, I watch your videos, and everything right down to the spices you're using are mine. And the things that he's done as a creator since she's brought him on, have it's it's made YouTube a very unsafe place in that niche community. It's, uh, it's pure havoc. And there's even uh, someone alleged that Nadar SA'd them. And this was a viewer, a viewer of Chantel's. On October 24th, 2021, a user named May Anderson uploaded a video saying this. Um. <sighs> Through uh, Chantel's booty booty's channel, I found um. Chef Nader El Shammy's channel. And um, enjoyed watching him make food and his presence and all that. So I decided to send a friend request. May says that she sent a request to Nadar, which progressed to them meeting in Canada where the essay took place. She says this. And he invited me to hang out with him to see the sights and to try some of his food. So once I found a place to stay in Gatineau, I told him where I was, what room I was in, with the, with the deal to be just that, go around, sightsee. When he came to my room, he didn't even say hi or anything. He just grabbed me and pushed me backwards and told me that we have to get these clothes off. And the next thing I knew, I was um, in the bed. Said 
that I was his B word, W word, and that he was going to pound my kitty into the ground, and that no matter what I said, he wasn't going to stop till he was done. So, eventually, it was over. He put his clothes on and took a shot of alcohol out of a pill bottle looking thing. And, uh, didn't say a word to me. He just left. This is a heartbreaking story. Keep in mind, this is a man who admits openly criminal behavior. Nadar and Chantel's relationship finally came to an end and he started dating a girl named DD where there was a live stream where he was seen to put his hands on her as well but this was much more intense He came to teach you, so he's done with me, and he wants to tell her husband, and he wants to tell my Tomorrow daughter. you will oh, that's, see. That's amazing. Tomorrow wow. you will see. Wow, that's a great person. Her phone name going to be inside tomorrow. Uh-huh. Oh, coward. I'm not coward. I'm not coward. What the f*** doing? I'm not coward. Hey, he just threw his cigarette at me, no, and he coward. just threw his, his thing at me. I'm not coward. He's throwing his cigarette at me. I'm not fucking saying coward again. Wow, okay. Wow. I'm not coward. I'm not saying coward again. Nobody scared me. Because I scared from people to eat people. Me, I eat people. You don't know me. You don't know me. Stay you don't you know me. Stay where you are. Do not come back here. You don't know me. Stay where you are. You just slapped me across the face so hard. It's not your business. You just slapped me and across shut the face. Up too. Uh, stay where you are. That's what you should. I'll show you how she's. Yes. Don't talk to me that way. Oh, okay. 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 عن دين الخلع دين أمك. و something else؟ ها؟ something else؟ and tomorrow she's boxed. and I who's her? who's your friend? ها؟ you hear me? you hear me? lock me up. go call the police. you're dead. dead. remember the friend? God take her from me because I was going to do his job. I get out of jail. If she's alive, she's dead. And if I go to jail one day for some time, she's dead. Don't tell me she, you don't know who evil I am. You don't know who evil I am. 
Tower. No, not with those. Not with those. You see this? I need it. This road, I will just take it out with my feet. Not with my hands. When I tell you, you're not going to wish to see me fight. Because you're not going to like me at all. This was such a traumatic experience for Dee Dee that she actually calls out for her deceased father. It's terrible. Anyway, that she didn't eat people, but I'm eat people. I am. <laughs> what? What? What you say? Daddy, please help me. Who? Daddy, my father. I don't want to help me. She worked hard to see this one. Tower. Sit down. Sit down. People here scared from jail. This is, this is here is not jail. You don't see real jail. This jail, when I don't talk the language, I was in Boston, you're in jail. In here. This jail vacation. You don't see real jail. Here jail, they have to feed, they have their own cell. Right? You don't see other jail how much like. Tough, they're playing tough. No, sorry, white people, I'm not tough. Sorry. Your criminal here is not tough. Clearly, this is a very unhinged person, very vile person. This is not a man. Like uh, this, is, this is like uh, in, insert insert your own words uh, in comment section below. Can I do that? This situation also shows exactly uh, more about the character of Chantel herself because when she heard about these things happening, she not only was okay with it, but was saying was blaming DD for these things even though Chantel went through similar uh situation and knows that uh, it's just it's 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 gross man punched in the face by her ex do you like oh who cares Mizu send another dollar 79 British pound that you need you need to stop shaming people you need to stop telling people how to process traumatic events in their life okay I've done some stupid and said some stupid in my life all right but none of that none of that has anything, any relation to me having been in a relationship? I see him being violent to her. I don't care. I don't. I don't. He can do whatever the f he wants to her and she'll eat it up because her ex gave her several black eyes and she doesn't give a f She's like, yes, another please. Here, here. Hit me. Yeah, because you're a low life piece. You love it. You love. You there's more plaster patches on our condo walls. There's more? He? Oh, no. Mm. You know who's going to be the punching bag later? Seriously. I'm not kidding. Like, nobody gives a f Reason we saw him wail on you and cry for your dad and you still are with this looking like a bowl of chips is the fact that you don't love yourself i do not feel one percent bad for anything that happens to Didi. i don't give a f i don't care i don't care nope even if more videos come out i don't care i have a dead heart for any of those people even if i see him being violent to her i don't care i don't i don't yeah i'm an empath now, of course, Goral World was documenting all of this stuff and some of the reaction channels a part of the community were posting on YouTube. Some of their videos, which I used in this video, people were posting these videos trying to show exactly how terrible of a person that Nadar was on their channels. Nadar was false striking these videos and putting their channels in jeopardy. I mean, there's a mass, like over a hundred false strikes. Here's a few on screen. So much so that Insider did an article looking into this and the writer Tanya Chin tweeted, Municipal police for Montreal and its neighboring districts told me that they've launched an investigation into matters on YouTube involving Nadar El Shami. The police department will not comment further to not impede on an active investigation. So Nadar is out here weaponizing YouTube's own system against itself, saying that if anyone made any videos on him, that he was going to not only strike those videos, but then go to videos that didn't even include him and take those down as well, effectively uh, terminating everyone's channel that tried to talk about this. I will 
to use my ride again. So if you have one video using my content in your channel before I take it down, I'm going for the rest. Well done, yeah. YouTube saying that I have right if you use my content with no edit to it like what well, Tanya told you instead of YouTube because you know already before you ask what you give me right to do one will give me right to do hundred of my content you use because I see a lot of uh, videos was hiding the cowards they come back Drive at them, the wave's gone, they will back. Guess what? All what with them back, I'm start to do them again. The interesting thing about this is because in the past, he actually gave channels permission to use his content. And it was only when they started showing the things that he did to the world that he started false striking. Since I don't touch your content, don't touch mine. We need to react, react. Million of you, but that doesn't matter me at all. That being said, I have seen and I even had my own videos be taken down before for uh, false and slanderous reasons. So if that happens, then you guys have full permission to download this video and re-upload it if that were to happen. To be clear, false strikes would likely result in his own channel termination. But I have seen it in the past where smaller channels with less pull get screwed over and things just fall through the cracks like that. Now, hopefully by raising awareness about the situation, there's going to be more eyes on it and YouTube's going to take notice. That's the overall goal to get terrible people like this off of the platform i've seen that this dude is even using the copyright system in a way when you do appeal these kind of false strikes you do have to give up your personal information to the other party and when the information comes through on his side he's been using this and weaponizing it against other creators to scare them into silence this is not good from the insider article it says the youtubers against whom he's initiated strikes are caught in a precarious bind either they allow him to remove their content or they attempt to fight the strike which means offering up their personal information to him last thursday in a live stream al Shami revealed one of the people's physical address which they submitted in an attempt to overturn the strike against them so he's taking these creators information and he's doxing them on live stream with full intent to harm them I'm not sure why YouTube hasn't stepped in and done something other than he's just a smaller creator. So hopefully this video brings attention to it, at least some more, when he's done other things like expose himself in live streams. She keep from her computer like, la 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 la. She keep from her computer like, oh, that's so funny. Right, she keep um... And you has your eyes open. Nadir! <laughs> Nadir! Oh my god, Nadir. So after the so after he took his pants off like so after he took his pants off like this, uh DD then goes in uh gives him a uh inappropriate favor on said live stream. Now this has since been clipped out of the live stream, but this actually happened. Yeah, I'm not showing that. Again, there's currently an ongoing investigation. Guy's even got his own petition on change.org to be removed from YouTube. He's got all the hallmarks of somebody that should be permanently removed from the platform. And top it off, he's a scammer saying he's a chef when he's actually preying on vulnerable viewers. So the guy says he's, he's a chef, but look at this chicken that he's cooked here. It's literally pink on the middle. That's absolutely disgusting. So again, this dude's preying on vulnerable viewers and a change needs to happen. YouTuber Ripzion had a good idea in his video coverage of this where he, he did a charity on his video called ABUSE Holds No Gender. As you guys know, I like to do charities towards this type of thing. Last year, raising over $10,000 for uh, rain to help uh, people in vulnerable situations just like this. I think at the end of the uh, year, we actually raised closer to 15,000. So I'm going to be doing a charity in this video as well. It should be below on mobile to the right on desktop. If you feel like you have extra money or you, this is a cause that you want to support, please do. And I appreciate you for it. Let me know if you've donated in the comment section below. That being said, I want to know what you guys think about this video. So leave your creative or interesting comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you 
in the next video. This was an intense video. It's gonna take me a while to edit. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna be out for a couple days. Um, plus, I'm gonna add some more things in with my research. But uh, this is there's so much with this. I, I really do hate how much I know about uh, Chantel now. It, like I'll be driving throughout the day or just doing my normal stuff and then something will pop up about something gross that she did and it's just like oh it churns my stomach but um do me a favor subscribe if you haven't join the rep squad we're almost uh, 210,000 subscribers I'd like to hit that that would be great um also I want to get to 30,000 followers on Twitter and I'm, I'm doing a lot of updates on Twitter if you guys are following the food beauty stuff I'll definitely probably be covering this more in the future as well uh currently at 27.3 thousand so if you want to help me out with that goal I'll put the link in the pinned comment. Also, I want to thank my patrons for your continued ongoing support. If YouTube would like to get your name at the end of my videos with these cool people, then I'll put the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Check it out and see if it's something for you. We do all kinds of really cool things over there, live streams throughout the week, extra content. Just We're, we're a really close-knit community over there, and I'm fixing to do a live stream uh just for specifically uh patrons and we're i think we're at 80 patrons with a goal of 100 so if you want to help with that check it out uh that being said um that's just another way to show that you're repping and if you're not repping you're greg and how you do that all you do is subscribe and notifications turn on be in the comment section after every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat's gonna be there in spirit and the rest of the rep Squad community as well and i expect to see that because this channel loves you <laughs> oh, i'm so hungry so hungry